Aloha everybody, John with you and welcome back to my channel and uh, it's time for another video taking a look at my Hawaiian shirt collection. I have, I don't know exactly how many, something, I think over a hundred Hawaiian shirts or Hawaiian inspired tropical resort shirts, whatever. And we are, I, I think about halfway maybe through looking at them. So uh, time today to take a look at more shirts. Now, Mamo Howell is uh, actually quite an expensive uh, brand, designer uh, brand of Aloha Wear. I just picked this one up very recently at a thrift store. If you see Mamo Howell at a thrift store, get it. Um, this is quite a fetching shirt with this sort of intense greenish pink with the um, yellow lei and some vines on it. It's very, very nice. Let's look up, check out the back of this one. Here's a shirt from the brand Junction West. Uh, if I'm not exactly sure if my memory serves me correctly, I may have bought this one new rather than at a thrift store, but I'm not exactly sure. It's a very nice sort of soft, cottony feel. And I love all the, the pictures of all the cocktails, right? On a navy blue background, this makes me Kind of thirsty just looking at it. Now the the tag has come off of this one, but it is a well-known uh, another upscale Hawaiian shirt brand, Tori Richard, quite upscale. Um, I've had this one for a long time. I'm not sure it may not even fit me at this point. But uh, it's a long sleeve shirt, kind of unusual. With sort of a patchwork quilt kind of design. Please answer me, my love. You were mine yesterday, I believe. So I want to break away just for a moment here to tell you or remind you that uh, if you enjoy the music that you're hearing uh, in the background of this video, I have a radio station. I have two radio stations online. One is Hawaiian Hi-Fi, which plays music from my uh, Hawaiian music collection. And the other one is called Moody Mood Music. And we're hearing selections from that today, which is uh, all that's kind of cool. I think it's cool. I love it. Uh, elevator, shopping mall, supermarket store music we used to listen to. Uh, Growing up, I, it was still popular when I was a kid, uh, like from the 50s through the 80s, I would say. Um, pretty much a totally dead format these days, but uh, I enjoy it. And if you want to hear more from that, uh, it's called Moody Mood Music on Live365.com. And I will link that in the comments or in the description below so you can uh, check that out if you're interested. Here's one where the label is actually missing from the shirt and the uh, thrift store where I bought this at very recently is very aware of brands and pricing and they price certain you know, brands much higher. Um, they must not have realized what this was because they had it priced very cheaply. It is a Tommy Bahama shirt and I really like this one. It's very whimsical and very fun um, with the lobsters on it. I think this, this was like $5.99 and normally it, for a, a brand like Tommy Bahama or Mamo Howell or one of the, the better, uh, you know, more upscale kind of brands, they would charge, you know, $16, $17. So I think they didn't realize it was Tommy Bahama, although it does have the tag sewn in here. They probably didn't look for it. Tommy Bahama Bungalow brand. And check out the back on this. Okay, 
so this one also uh, is a thrift store find I just recently picked up. Sindhu Taylor. This is not a, a Hawaiian shirt, but it's a uh, one of those Thai silk Thai shirts, and it is really amazing. I don't know if the camera is really quite doing this justice, but it's very, very shiny silk. Really quite something. The brand on this one is Trader Bay. Uh, I don't exactly remember, but I also think maybe I purchased this one when it was new on a sale at Sears or somewhere like that. Maybe, I'm not 100% sure if I remember. Otherwise, it would have been a thrift store. But I love the um, sort of aqua color. I love the globe on it, the palm trees. I just think this is kind of a nice design. It is cotton and it is unfortunately that kind that, I mean cotton is great of course, but it gets very wrinkly after you wear it for like five minutes. This is a most unusual uh, Hawaiian shirt which I got at a thrift store. I had to get it when I saw it. Salt and Light Designs. Now, I didn't understand it when I first looked at it. I'm like, why Why is there a Hawaiian shirt with a ghost on it? Like, I don't, what is this? I don't understand it. And then I uh, realized there was a biblical quote, John 21, 1 through 25. And um, that's after uh, Christ's death and he appears to the, the, what do you call it? Disciples fishing and they don't recognize him and he's like come ashore and catch all these fish and yada yada. Anyway, that's what this is. So turns out this is a company that um, makes like religious related aloha wear, which is certainly a subgenre, I guess. Um, I haven't seen any of their other things in the wild, but I was just like, you know, I have got to have a Hawaiian shirt with a ghost on it. Not a ghost, but that's what it looks like, right? If you just look at it. An amazing shirt. And the tag is on the back, which is also interesting. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, also hit the little notification bell if you want to be notified immediately uh, of any new releases, new videos that I do. Thank you for watching and have a good week and we'll see you in the next video.